Hi, this is my Marlin uh, 1894 CST. Um, yeah, it's nice. So what we're going to do today is we're going to paracord the under lever. Okay, so um, paracord. Just grab anything. I got that from the local gun shop. Um, Webtex. I'm sure, there's other manufacturers make some out there. It's three millimeters. It gets a nice finish. However, what I will say is, when you're looking at it, it's obviously it's got reinforced fibres through the middle. So, this is what we're going to be doing it with. Um, and if you can see that, I can get that to go flat. And the reason I get it to go flat is, when you cut it, take out the centre strands. Yeah, There's all the strands from the, the line that I'll be using. So, the rifle's now lying on its back. There is... Absolutely nothing in it. It is completely and utterly unloaded. Okay, so I've got about 1.4 meters of paracord with the centre removed. Yeah, gives you a nice flat finish. So take a paracord, feed it through, pull it out, extend it, find the middle. Once you've found the middle, okay, what you're going to do is a granny knot, whip it through. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn it round so the knot, yeah, is on the underside of the lever, right? You do this for keychains, it doesn't matter what you do it for. Okay, so we've got our starting point, okay? Don't worry about uh, how it looks and how fixated it gets and all the rest of it. I have got two, two halves, okay? I've got a right and I've got a left. So what you're going to do with the right-hand side is you're going to make a loop. That loop is going to pass through the guard, okay, and over the left-hand side. The left hand side is now going to come up and over the outside of the lever and pass back through. Pull. Okay. Ta da! There we go. That's how easy it is. We've now got the loop strand on that side there. So, take your left hand side, make the loop again, pass it back through, and it goes over the right hand side. The right hand side goes over and under. And guess what? Oh look, there you go. So we'll quickly just, um, that goes through and over, that comes up and under, pull, okay, and then don't worry about how it looks just now, that's um, just give it a wee a wee tight, self tightens, it's fine. So which other side, whichever side the um, the knot's on, all right, it's the opposite side. It's some folk get confused with. So you make your loop, you pass your left hand side through and over the right hand side. The right hand side comes up and over the outside of the handle, goes through. There we go. So at this point here, you're left with this, and then all you do is you just bunch that up. Yeah, so it's nice and tight, so you don't see any hardware underneath. Pull it nice and tight. Uh, once you come to the end, which is obviously the, the point at which the handle <laughs> will fill off the, f the, uh, the woodwork, the stock. So I'm going to stop it there. I think that's a no bad. Um, as I said, I was rattling through it and I was away around here, but I knew it would fold round. So. Tease it up. Okay, sharp knife, don't muck about. Okay, what you want to do is take it maybe... 3mm, 3mm from the end, 4mm, it will take the lighter, okay, keep it off to blobs, then when it blobs take the lighter, seal it back in the pocket that you made it come out.
Okay, there we have it. Why did we do it? Because when you start whacking it like that against cold metal, it soon knocks the shit out your knuckles. Yeah. So yeah, it's not just aesthetic, aesthetics. It's there for a reason. It's there for a purpose. So I'll uh, I'll square that all the way, neaten that all up. Um, and yeah, thanks very much.